Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Fresco and in this video we will keep uh, looking at uh, how to draw geometries. Uh, we have already seen how to draw a line, an arc, a polyline and, and uh, a spline. Today we will focus on the rectangle and uh, a circle. So let's start immediately. Uh, let's, uh, we are always in the CAD CAM environment. Uh, so drawing and I'm going to select the rectangle. Uh, just click anywhere in the working area. Um, we have uh, otherwise the possibility here to specify coordinates. And then we have the advanced parameters that we will see uh, in just a second. So let's start. Of course, now we have an extra tab asking for the base and height of the rectangle. So we can at this point uh, go ahead and specify length and width, basically. Of course, if you, if you go negative, it goes uh, down. Otherwise, if it is positive, it goes up. Uh, but it, it really depends on what you need to do. Also because, uh, I mean, at the end, we can always move it. But we will see how to move stuff uh, in a later video. Now, uh, this is a simple rectangle. But if we want, we can uh, go back. So double click on the geometry. Whenever you have to modify something, just double click on the geometry or double click on the geometry directly here in the list. Of course, now we have only one, but uh, we could have more. Double click here or double click on the geometry is exactly the same thing. And uh, let's see what we can do in the, in the advanced parameters tab. So first of all, we can assign a rotation for our rectangle. So we can uh, put it in an angle. Again, uh, based on what you need to do, you can go positive or negative, you know. And the uh, second thing, we can add uh, chamfers or fillets. So if you want to add fillet, we can just click on this and specify uh, the radius of our fillet. I don't know, let me make something visible. 50, for instance. And uh, that can be uh, also a length of a chamfer. So in this case, if you select chamfer, 50 will be the distance from the corner. But what if we want to have maybe two corners with the, with the fillet and uh, maybe one with the chamfer and one we want to give it a 90 degree. At this point, we can enable diversified chamfers and the software will give you the possibility to select what you want to do for every single corner. So I'm gonna select this one and fillet. 50 and here it is then for the second corner which is this one so it goes uh, clockwise so uh, chamfer 2 let's specify I don't know 80 for the chamfer then maybe we want another fillet 50 like the other one and maybe we want to leave the last one 90 degree, so sharp corner. We can just close. And we will have our final result. Just quickly check what we can do with the circle. Circle, of course, here you have uh, in the right panel, you have all, all the options. You can draw a circle using three points. Uh, the most common, uh, which is also the default one, uh, is uh, the circle given the center and the radius. Otherwise, there is a circle given center and diameter. And uh, finally, circle given two points and radius. So based on the information that you have, you can select 
uh, the best one here and go ahead and fill out all the, the information. Otherwise, you can uh, just, you know, as usual, click somewhere in uh, the working area and be done with it. Then if it has to be edited, you can double click on it. You can move the position if you grab it from the center. And you can change the radius if you grab from the side. So this is it for this video. I hope you liked it and it was helpful for you. See you at the next video.